So in conclusion for our sources, um, there are always two different sides to a story. Um, there are always different opinions about each source or each topic. Um, however, when it comes down to deciding what is considered a reliable source and what is not, um, there are different aspects that we need to evaluate within the source when analyzing it. Um, for our example, our credible sources, uh, credible source that we chose um, being NASA ends in a .gov, meaning it is trustworthy, credible government site. Um, so that is one way to tell um, if one is a reliable site or not. Um, this one being from the organization of NASA, which is a space organization um, within the government. Um, now, if we look at our other source, um, we see that it is more of a conservative news network, um, this being Fox News, um, also linked to their television uh, news network. Um, it has been linked to show biases um, on many topics on numerous occasions um, and to support of the right side agenda. Um, our reliable source is also more factual based, um, is more informative, provided by California Institute of Technology. Um, so they're providing more statistics, um, more graphs, more analytical data, um, rather than this is Fox News, is providing more opinion based. Um, they're trying to convey one side or the other. Um, and they're using journalists and talk show hosts rather than using scientists um, and numerical data. Um, they're going off of opinions and more of emotional appeal. Um, they're invading to a particular audience and to control of power. So at the end of the day, they're trying to show power. They're trying to influence others while our credible source is showing more statistical data and what is actually factual. Um, So by doing so, um, the big impact for trying to convey a credible source is providing evidence um, so your audience can tell that you are credible um, rather than just showing opinions and talking about um, maybe just a regular topic, um, you're conveying to your audience that you um, know what you're talking about, you're conveying evidence, you're conveying statistics. Um, like I said before, um, you're not just talking about opinions. You're not um, bringing emotions involved to it. If you set in standard, of this is what this is, clear as day, you're not bringing any emotional appeal into the topic. Um, so that's one way something is credible. Um, you're trying to educate the uh, audience. Um, so that's one thing that's huge when it comes to finding um, credible sources. Are they trying to educate you or are they trying to persuade you one side or the other? Um, and a reliable source backs you up for your argument. Um, like I said, they're using trustworthy articles, encounters, um, whether it's doctors, scientists, um, people firsthand encounters and scientist studies, um, all that, and to help you use pieces to back up your information greater for reliable sources. Um, so those are the main two differences between reliable and non-reliable sources. Um, I hope I covered everything.